Welcome back to my Keep Up channel. British tourists trigger health alert in Turkey after wading into the sea to sprinkle the ashes of their dead relative at holiday spot he loved. British tourists triggered a health alert in Turkey after wading into the sea to scatter the ashes of a deceased relative and causing panic among beachgoers. Health authorities in Marmaris, on the southern Aegean coast, began a hasty investigation and took water samples following backlash from concerned locals about Monday's ceremony. Swimmers warned yesterday that the spreading of ashes in popular waters near the beach could endanger health, prompting an urgent response from the regional district health directorate. The group of tourists had reportedly traveled with the intent of sprinkling the ashes at the Uzunyali beach, a favored spot of a late family member who had lost his life at sea, in touching tribute. Cremation is not legal in Turkey, and restrictions are in place to limit bringing ashes into the country. The restrictions on scattering ashes in Turkey have caused significant upset for travelers in the past. British forum users have described the drawn-out process of working through Turkish and British bureaucracy to get permission to organize a send-off. Robin, writing on the Sue Ryder Bereavement Support Charity Forum, said it took them nearly two years to get permission from all the relevant authorities to scatter their wife's ashes. My wife always loved Turkey from the first time we went there 40 years ago, so it was a no-brainer where she would want to be at rest, they wrote. Unfortunately, it's never that simple. It took me nearly two years to get permission set up with UK airport, airline, Turkish airport, Turkish government, Turkish local council officials, main mosque representatives, Turkish police, and local port authorities. Still, they said they were ultimately able to organize the journey, and that their mind is at peace after being able to do the last physical thing I could do for her. While some airlines do allow passengers to take ashes to Turkey and carry on luggage, there remain restrictions in place for what people can do with them after landing. Cremation is not legal in Turkey, and there are no cremation facilities. When a British person dies in Turkey, the British government advises, finding a local funeral director to arrange a burial, who will be able to explain the local process. Turkey is a Muslim country, and while it is permissible for non-Muslims to be buried in line with their own burial practices within the country, cremation is not allowed under Islamic law. The bereaved may also arrange the repatriation of the body home. In 2022, cultural sensitivities on the matter were felt when a Turkish man was accidentally cremated in a hospital in Hanover. The family of Abdulkader Sarjan, a Turkish citizen, were shocked when, during funeral preparations, they discovered the person in the coffin was a complete stranger. 71-year-old Sarjan had died from a brain hemorrhage at the MHH hospital in Hanover. His body was to be transported to a funeral company for an Islamic burial upon the family's request. After the horror discovery, an intern at the hospital's morgue admitted to having made a mistake and mixing up the bodies, per the Turkish Daily Sabah newspaper. The family raised concerns about why the body had been cremated so soon after Sergeant's death, and local police launched an investigation. Source, dailymail.co.uk Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.